So, Mike, we're here today talking about the 3TW, and um, I'm going to pose you a difficult question now is, uh, how, how have you seen salespeople really mess things up with the way that they structure questions? I mean, is that something that they do badly? Is that something that they do too much? Do they ask too many questions in one go? Are they just trying to stretch the point of making questions where things really aren't effective, or is there something different I've missed? Well, thanks for that. So that was this week's 3TW. <laughs> um, you're a rug. I'm sure, I can only hope that with, with no malice, with no intent, that some sellers just ask the wrong questions. So what are the wrong questions? The wrong questions for me are either those that have been limited by their own values, which is something we've recently explored on a previous 3TW. But the more obvious one is where the questions that are asked are informed by the products or services that they're selling. What I mean by that is they think about the product or the service that they have to offer and they will ask questions that just link directly back to it. So if I sell car insurance, all of the questions I might ask are about car insurance. Now you might think, well, what else are you going to ask about? Well, I would ask about the human being who's on the other end of the line or the other person in front of me and think, what do I need to know about them? What do I need to uncover? so that I can then make a connection back and think, okay, there's a reason why this person might want this product or service which I have on offer. So the 3TW, the try this this week, is either to try and do it yourself, which can be difficult. Now, there are ways to do this. Either if you are doing this over the phone, if the conversation with the client is over the phone, see if you can record it. You may have to get permission to do that. You may already have systems in place that allow it. Have somebody else sit in and take notes. Again, you may or may not have to have permission to do that, depending on what situation you have. Or, if you can't do any, either of those things, make a note of some of the questions you're asking as you ask the questions. That way, you can see what is it that's causing to me to ask these questions, where have these come from, how have they been shaped. If there's a team, get together as a team and start to understand what are the questions they ask and why. So, 3TW, plenty to go at to understand what is shaping the questions that I'm asking.